Give thanks and eyes unto the most high Jah, Rastafari. It's I, Emmanuel, the vegan once again, bringing you another vegan dish today. So it's the hottest day of the year so far, registering 37 degrees in my garden. So we're going to make some vegan patties today with some homemade chips, sweet corn, peas and a lettuce salad. So I'll take you over to the ingredients. Firstly, for the pastry, um, which is enough in itself. And then in another part of the video, I'll show you the ingredients to the filling. Ja, Rastafari. Okay, so we've got some plain wholemeal flour there, some flaxseed powder, tapioca starch, potato flour, baking powder in the little red thing there, curry powder in there, some soya milk, some Vitalite and one stock cube which is going to replace the salt element in this re in my recipe. Jam. So the ingredients for the pastry. We've got some potato flour, potato starch flour, tapioca starch flour and some plain wholemeal flour, some curry powder, some baking powder, some soya milk, some flaxseed powder, some soya spread, um, that's a stock cube, and these are the quantities measured out into the bowl. So we've got two cups of plain wholemeal flour there, and a quarter cup each of tapioca starch and potato starch. So all those are going to be mixed with the flaxseed powder. So to the flour mixes I've added a spoonful, a teaspoonful of baking powder and two and a half teaspoonfuls of curry powder. I'm going to add this stock cube that I've crushed up very small and um, that replaces the salt for me. So I'm going to mix all that up and then bring you back in. So I've mixed all the flours and I've got half a cup of soya margarine now which I'm going to mix in with the flour. Stir the mix until it's a crumble and then I'm going to add in half a cup of soya milk into the mix. So to the ingredients for the filling for the veg patties. So we've got some lentils there, some coconut oil, got an onion, and one spring onion, four cloves of garlic, which are for the patties and for the salad, heart, heart of romaine salad there, some chili powder in there, cumin there, paprika in that orange container, um, all purpose seasoning in this one, turmeric in that one, and thyme in that one. And there are three stock cubes there, which I'm gonna use as salt and also for two cups of broth. So for now I'm going to peel the onion, the garlic and the spring onion. So for the hearts of the main salad, just got some garlic in the bowl with some vegetable oil and simply some black pepper. And I'm going to add the salad to that and that's the salad ready. So I've got one tablespoonful of coconut oil in there with the onion, the spring onion and the garlic. And I'm frying those on a medium heat. And then I'm going to make two cups of vegetable broth with those stock cubes there. I put three little stock cubes in there. There's the green lentils and then I'm going to add all the spices and herbs and the like. The onions are soft now so I've turned off the heat and I'm going to add the spices and the lentils and then the stock and then bring you back in. So I've added half a teaspoonful of dried thyme quarter teaspoon of turmeric, more like half with me, quarter teaspoon of cumin, quarter teaspoon of ground paprika, half a teaspoonful of allspice, and I've also added half a teaspoonful of black pepper and half a teaspoonful of chili powder. So I'm going to add the broth to the mix now and then bring it to the boil. Here's the broth there which I made from three stock cubes. So I've added the stock 
and the lentils and I'm going to bring that to the boil now and then let it simmer until most of the liquid has gone and then it will be ready to put as a filling inside the patties. So here's my dough and from my dough I'm going to roll it with my hands into one ball and then break it up into six balls for six patties. I'm going to be having these with chips, homemade chips made in my active fryer which only uses a tablespoonful or so of oil for the whole chips. They're not as good as deep fried chips admittedly but they're very good. Um, and some sweet corn and some peas and the salad which you've already seen. So the next thing I'm going to be doing is rolling out the six shells for the patties. There's the mix for the inside of the patties. So as you can see, it's boiling a quarter of a heat now. And these here are my six shells ready to fill. Um, potatoes getting peeled as we speak for the chips. And I'll just have another small pot with some sweet corn and peas in there. Okay, so my chips are going in the active fryer because they're going to take the longest. I've drained most of the liquid for the mix of the patty. And in here I've just got some sweet corn, some peas and some black pepper to go with the meal. So this is the active fryer by the way, a more healthy way to eat chips. It makes good chips, I like them. Not as good as deep fryer, but it's a lot safer. You can't really burn down the house with the tin and at the same time you're not eating so much saturated fat, which is good. The cost of this dish is about, it will serve three people and it's about six pounds. So that's for salad, chips and for the pasties. I'm angry all the things and praise unto the monster jar us the fire around. Food for life, life for food. Okay, so these are my first attempt patties, not perfect as you can see, but it's all about the taste. So we're going to be having those, me and two of my sons, with homemade chips from the active fryer, and some sweet corn, and some peas, and some salad. So the Rustaman Naibingi feast. Veg patties, homemade, chips, peas, sweet corn, hearts of remain salad. Residing over Ayman table is Ayman father, Jaras the fire, King Selassie I, the first emperor of Ethiopia, Jan King, who said, Rastafari.